Hello and welcome back to Hyrule Warriors. I'm Mr. Viperfang and last time we got introduced to the story of Hyrule Warriors and got to play as Link and kicked a lot of ass. And today we're going to be playing as Impa in the Elden Caves because the recommended element is water and Impa's weapon is water based. So yeah. Uh, before I go into the stage itself however, I want to get some stuff in the bazaar out of the way. Uh, we, in addition to the badge market that was shown off at the end of the last episode, we have access to the training dojo and the apothecary. The training dojo is basically where you go to level up your characters. No character can be leveled up higher than your highest level character. So, let's say you have a level 4 character and you have a character that's at like level 3 you won't be able to level up that character higher than level 4. So it's basically a way to trade in rupees to quickly level your characters that you aren't really using. So yeah, uh, since both of my characters are at level 4, I have no use for the training Jojo at the moment. The other thing is the Apothecary. You can use this to have a passive effect happen during your next mission. So, if you want to get up a lot of items in battle, you can drop a... You can drop by the Apothecary, use 100 bronze quality materials, and pay 30,000 rupees to get yourself a uh, increase of uh, item power-ups. There's also a lot of them here that were added after the, the uh, launch, and these are pretty damn powerful, if you ask me. More specifically, Rupee Festival, which allows you to get a boatload of rupees. I'm probably not going to be using any of these, so I am think I'm just going to skip the Apothecary entirely. We're going to learn about the smithy later on in the game, though, since we haven't unlocked it yet. Anyway, uh, let's go on ahead and start off uh, with the mission that takes us into the Elden Caves. Hey! After choosing a warrior, you will need to choose which weapon to yield, assuming you have found additional weapons. The higher the value, the more damage you deal to enemies. This value is decided based on basic weapon strength and weapon star rating. Skills attached to weapons give them various added effects. If a skill is sealed, you must defeat a certain number of foes to unlock it. Element. Equipping the right element for the right enemy or battle can make all the difference. And yes, this actually does have uh, significant effects. Anyway, cutscene. After an arduous battle, Link and his comrades slew King Dodongo, but the beast was only ever intended as a distraction. The army of monsters had taken Hyrule Castle. Worse, after the dust had settled, Princess Zelda was nowhere to be found. Impa and Link searched the battlefield for any sign of her, but to no avail. Although the battle had been lost, Impa foresaw Link's importance to the coming war. She bestowed upon him a green tunic, the sign of the legendary hero. Link did not believe himself worthy of the honor, but he was determined to help Impa and her remaining soldiers locate Zelda. Weeks passed. Impa heard a rumor that a handful of soldiers were holding out against the monsters in Farron Woods. The leader of this resistance was supposedly a young woman. Impa dared to hope that this unknown woman was Zelda. Link and Impa decided to make their way to the forest by way of the Elden Caves, a path with its own dangers. All right, so for this mission, we aren't defending anything. We're not required to take a lot of keeps. We're just trying to get to the bottom right of the map for this one. So, let's go on ahead and, uh... No, I don't want to go to the bazaar. I want to start... There we go. I don't want to go to the bazaar and have to redo all that cutscene stuff again. If you're carrying more than one usable item, you can switch between them by using the uh, D-pad. And this is also how we're going to be able to use our potion. So yeah. 
So the difference between Link and Zelda is while Link is more balanced, it's basically the all-around character, Impa's strength comes from a lot of her strong attacks, basically. So basically her, uh, by stringing her strong attacks with her weak attacks, she can be the most effective in battle. Also, if you ask me, her uh, special attack is pretty damn effective. Soldiers are in trouble, hurry! I need to take this outpost for experience. There we go. That should give us a little bit of an advantage. Take out the outpost captain and you will have an outpost, which will allow you to have additional allies spawn. All right, we need to get up north and looks like the only way through is, oh, there's a uh, wall here that kind of looks suspicious. Let's bomb it. And just like in Legend of Zelda games, you can cut the grass to get items and rupees. I'm basically going to be using uh, this combo throughout the entire mission because it is one of the most effective ways of dispatching enemies. Also, let me go on ahead and show off her special attack. Despite it not having the forward range of Lynx, it can take out a lot of enemies at once. And this is a lot of enemies to take out. Alright. There we go. That should weaken the keep a little bit. Also, I like that uh, strong attack. Because it gets everyone gathered up into a bubble, and since her uh, water element kicks in with uh, that attack, enemies will get a water bubble over their heads, which will which will deal ticking damage for a little bit. Since we've taken a keep, let's go on ahead and keep going this way till we meet up with the soldiers. And if you're worried about special attacks taking out your allies, uh, they discern for they're able to uh, tell friend from foe, so don't worry about friendly fire at all. There we go. Eileen Captain's morale has improved. But the lava's stopping our progress. We need to find a way past it. If we break those stone spires, maybe we can get across the lava. Who's ready for some escort quests? Oh, and a bunch of dark forces have appeared. Oops, I went a little too far with the normal attacks. Alright. I'm gonna go around and take the keep over this way. Goron Captain has appeared at Entry Square. All right, level up. Let's go on and take this keep because we'll need it taken anyway when the bomb chew that we're gonna escort gets here. Let's go on and finish taking this keep, and then I'm gonna go down and help escort the bomb chew. There we go. Oh, and sometimes uh, those glowing item icons will appear, and if you pick one up, you'll get a super powered item for a little bit. All right, outpost taken. That's gonna help immensely. Chuck a bomb. Keep chucking bombs. I might as well take advantage of the bomb. As you unlock more badges in the bazaar, you'll be able to have a super powered item for a longer duration. I need to get this thing moving again.
There we go. It has advanced again. Basically, I need to keep these guys off of the bomb chew while it advance advances, which is why I'm just kicking ass right now. Alright, since we took this keep ahead of time, we don't need to wait for the... We don't need to take it so that the bomb chew can advance. It'll just keep on advancing. Just keep on advancing. Got another influx of enemies that I need to stop. Oh, good, another Skulltor appeared. I believe it is this way. All right, a cutscene's gonna play, I believe, in a couple seconds. Especially if I just stop like that trying to find the Golden Skulltor. I don't know the exact location, and I've never bothered trying to memorize it. Wait, it's over this way. Should be under this. There we go. Alright. Cutting the grass to get a little bit of stuff. And now let's head up this way. I gotta join Link! I gotta rejoin Link. There we go. Cutscene. Oh no, we're surrounded. We should be able to handle this, right? Why are we just standing here getting surrounded? princess isn't dead. You'll reunite with her at some point during your journey, but not quite yet. You can call me Sheik. It's a name that comes from the Sheikah tribe. They were servants of the Hyrulean royal family. The Sheikah tribe? That's impossible. We can talk more once we get out of this cave. For now, let me join you. All right, we have a new character. It's Sheik. And Sheik wields a harp. This harp is actually uh, pretty effective at AoE attacks, but we'll get an opportunity to play as Sheik later on in the uh, legend mode. All right, so we're gonna get we're going to continually be pursued by uh, dark forces, so I guess the only way we're going to be going at this point is forward, so let's keep at it. Right, get out of my way. I will use a water bubble to kill, kick your asses. There we go. Alright, we've arrived at Tunnel Square! Oh, you dodged it! Alright, you're dead. And since it wasn't inside the square, the square didn't, uh, lose any health. That's okay. I'll just keep on slamming my sword around and using water bubbles to take you guys out. There we go. And done. Oh, what's this? A new weapon. There we go. Open the chest. See what's inside. It's a new weapon! Alright, we've captured Tunnel Square, and we got a new item that we're gonna find out what 
exactly it is at the end of the mission. Oh, the south gate didn't open? At least we captured the keep. All right, health full. Our next objective is actually this way. We're gonna try to take out an, e an evil spirit inside this uh, cave uh, passage. I'm just gonna go on and speed by these guys and just find it right away. Spirit I'm looking for is actually over this way. There it is. All right, get over here. I dare ya. There we go. All right, we took an outpost and took out the spirit of the caves. All's well that ends well. All right, let's go rejoin Link. All right, Sheik fell back to attack dark forces, so they won't be come af coming after us as much. So that's probably a good thing. We should be okay, right? <laughs> right? We're not screwed, are we? I'm gonna go on ahead and just take this keep. Oh no, we lost a key. It's one that I don't care about, though. Oh, another chest. Oh, we got more stones in the way. If you're wondering what was in that chest, it was just rupees. However, it, it contains something different if you're playing as a different character in this map. And I'll go on ahead and uh, reveal what it is at the end of the video. All right, we gotta find two bomb to choose this time. So let's go on ahead and uh, check over here. Oh. Oh, perfect. I don't get very many opportunities to break guards like that, considering I kick everyone's ass instantly. Let's just go on ahead and take you guys out. And another level up. Sweet. There we go. Took another keep. And now we've got a uh, twice the bomb chew, which means twice the fun. All right. You see that bomb chew there? That's exactly what we need. Way ahead of you, game. I've already taken the central keep. All right. Let's see what happens if I take this keep. Mainly, I'm going to be keeping twice as many enemies off of these bomb chews because there's two of them now. Shouldn't be any any enemies over where they are at the moment. And just to make sure that stay just to make sure it stays that way, I'm gonna go on ahead and just keep kicking ass. Also, we find out what the uh, name of the wizard is. Wizro. It's based off it's based off of uh Wizrobes from the uh, Zelda series. Oh no, you are not taking out any of the bomb chews there, Wizro. Just so long as I keep juggling you, uh, you will not be able to hurt anybody. I want to make sure I take you out before I do anything. Oh god. Right, that should do it. There we go. Wizro has been taken. I want to take this keep before I go back for the bomb shoes. 
All right. Bombshoe has resumed advancing. That's a good thing. Take another outpost. That should give us a little bit of uh, breathing room. Our first palm chew has made it. The first spike has been destroyed. There we go. All right, I gotta go over here real quick. All right, that should give us uh, Impa's heart container or heart piece for the level. I don't remember which one it is. It's a heart container! All right! Which means that the uh, chest that I opened before, back in the Crystal Caves, is a piece of heart for somebody else. And, the, and that other person is Link. Which means I'm gonna be going through this uh, mission as Link and Post just to show off the item. Oh! Holy, stop doing that! I'm gonna be so glad when I can get the uh, badges unlocked where knockback is a lot less effective. Basically all we need to do is get over to this square and then we win. You made it through the caves! Alright, mission over. I can tell it's mission over because I can't use any of my uh, face buttons. I can only move around. Hmm. We did it! Yay! Onward to the next mission, which is going to take place in the forest with the Great Deku Tree. I also like that they based Impa off of her Skyward Sword look somewhat. It's like a mix of between her Skyward Sword look and her Ocarina of Time look. And the weapon that we got back in the, uh... Back there in the, uh, square just before the Crystal Caves is the Fire Rod. And it's a weapon for Link. So we're gonna be using that. We're actually gonna be using that in the next, uh, mission because the recommended element is fire. And Link's Fire Rod is the only thing that has the delicate, uh, dedicated element. We can also battle a Sheik, but we'll be ba battling with uh, Sheik a lot later. And Sheik's weapon is the Goddess Harp. Ooh, Bazaar's leveled up. Potions are more effective, and I think we got some more mixes unlocked. All right, so that's going to do it for today. Next time, we're going to be going through Farron Woods, and we're going to be trying out Link's Fire Rod. Later. Yeah. <laughs>